Today I'm going to show you how to create a CV or a resume website just like this one where you can have all your information, you can have your educational background, your work experience, your portfolio and your CV. Okay? So it's going to look like a professional website and this is something that you should start doing especially if you're looking for a job. Most people don't realize this, but you'll have a competitive edge if you have your own personal website which can easily be found online. By potential employers. So this is going to be very easy. It's actually a very, very simple step. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Just be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any of my videos. Now I'm going to be using Pineapple AI website builder. Now you can use any other AI website builders. I have listed other AI website builders here on my website. Okay, so the ones that you have are Pineapple, there is Hoku's. There is layer and there is clip. Okay, so these are currently the best AI website builders. And I put pineapple as the number one because it's very easy. It's one of the best AI website builders. So I'll also link it down in the description, which will directly take you to this page. So what you're just going to do here, you're just going to type resume website. Okay, or just resume. And then click on AI. Right, so it's going to take you to this page. So here's where you're going to enter more information. So the kind of information that you're going to enter are the things like, you know, your name, your age, things like date of birth, work experience, educational background, basically what you have on your CV. Okay. So first you're going to say, I want a resume website and then add, you will include these details. Add a full colon and then now click on enter. So here's where you're going to enter name. Okay, so this is the format that you would use name, age, education, um, experience or work experience. And I think quali qualifications should come before work experience. Okay, so I'll add here qualifications. All right, so these are basically the, you know, the information that you want to have. Uh, this is the typical information that you normally have on uh, a CV or a resume. Okay, you can add anything else that you want. So, of course, here you're going to enter your name. Okay, and then enter your age. Here you're going to enter education. Now, for education, maybe you want to enter only just your latest education. Okay, I don't really think it's necessary entering your previous education, like um, yeah, primary school that you went to, like maybe junior high or even secondary. Usually, they want to look for the latest um, education. So maybe you can say a uh, university, like maybe Harvard. Okay, of course, I didn't go to Harvard, but I wish. But you can enter your latest education there. Okay, typically it will be university. And then here is where you're going to enter your master's. So you can say maybe master's. So whatever master's you did. Okay, and then here you have work experience. So if you have work experience, okay, you don't have to add work experience. I know many people don't have work experience, but if you have work experience, you can add. Okay, and then again, you can go ahead and add whatever it is you want to add. For now, I'll just leave it like that. And then down here, you're going to enter the target audience. Okay, so the target audience will be, of course, employers. So you can say employers looking for qualified. Okay, looking for qualified, hardworking, um, and maybe diligent workers employers looking for qualified hardworking and diligent workers then just click on start generation okay so now we can now continue with the you know editing creating things like palette styles uh website background they have different features here like text styles button styles so if you start with palette you have that uh white which is the default you have this one okay this is kind of like a uh, darker kind of shade you have vivid okay this is blue and then you have dark okay i always prefer dark but then again it's a personal preference and then here you have white okay you have this okay so this one here changes you know very minor areas like uh, these sections here uh, so if we click as you can see it changes kind of like it switches between the text and the uh, the background color okay so if you want to play around with that you can go ahead and do that i'm just going to leave mine as white here you have different other features. Okay, you have green and dark, minimal, uh, minimal dark. You have this one here. Okay, I'm just going to leave it uh, default. 
and then here you have your text styles okay so you can go ahead and play around with this if you want for me i'm just going to leave it like this and you just click on save up over here all right so here is your website now you want to start doing some changes there's some sections that you don't really need like for example this one here you don't need that okay this is okay over here this one is also okay although you can add you can place uh, replace with your image same thing here you can replace your image okay this one's here you can just basically replace your image or you can just have images of people working you know in an office environment or whatever uh, type of uh, work it is that you do or you can just do away with the images okay you don't have, uh, you don't have to have an image you can just uh, get rid of the images and then here you have benefits of hiring you okay here are, are your qualified expertise here you have your proven track record your dedication and diligence standard from competition okay so that's okay here you have warm words now for this section you can have referrals okay so some people have referrals on cvs like maybe your referrals could be people you've previously worked for like maybe your uh, manager your previous boss your supervisors okay you can have them here all right and then down here you have other sections okay some sections are not really necessary but you can just you can just uh keep them okay like this place for contact uh you don't really need to have a contact button for me personally i would remove this and then i would have um i would enter my contact okay so like for here this section would be perfect for contact all right so you can enter your you know your phone number your email okay not really not really a phone number but your email um your social platforms your social handles instagram twitter facebook threads you know those ones uh, they're already even here okay so you can have your all your handles here so what i would do i would remove this section okay so just like this just like that all right and then here you can now add you know something like your email you can add your phone number but i know many people are sensitive with their you know phone numbers so you don't have to do that um then here you have your your, your social handles okay so it's just as simple as that guys okay as you can see we've created this website literally in minutes if not seconds and then up over here you have your uh, header you can edit this header you can remove this so you can replace it with your name you can say maybe something like your name robert Okello's resume all right here with this icon you can remove this icon because it's going to show it's not really showing because it's dark it's a dark background but if you have a light if you chose a light um kind of like background that icon would show so right now it's okay so what you want to do next you want to you want to add your your cv okay some people may be having portfolios but most people are going to be having a cv so if you already have a cv that's already existing you can actually attach it to this website and the way that you can do that you can just use any of these links okay you can use these links over here let me just remove this one here okay so you can have this that's going to link to our cv so you want to have something that's like this okay it's going to say view robots uh, resume or cv and if they click on this it's going to take them to the resume page okay so if you already have a cv that's already been formatted that is a separate document you can actually attach it this way okay so if you come back over here you can say um, you're going to click on edit okay which will show you this section so here you can say view robots resume or you can say cv okay and then you're now going to click on pages over here okay so click on website pages which is going to reveal for you your pages so the default pages are these ones here you have home which is this you have about you have pricing your features so what i'd get rid of are these ones here okay just remove these pages remove features remove um pricing okay and then you want to leave about so about is why now you can have your cv so you can click on this again and then rename it to resume or cv and click on save all right and then now you're going to click on a resume but before you click on you have to save this just make sure you save this as draft and then now click on resume all right so you want to remove this you can remove all of this so i'm just going to do that real fast okay so now you want to leave maybe just one section like this and then 
here you would say your resume or CV again, and then just remove uh, the rest of this text, just like that. And then what you want to do now is to add an image. Okay, you want to add an image. So what you can do, click on Add Section. Now you can use any over here. I'm just going to click on Hero, and then click on Product. Okay. So now I'm going to remove this. So now what you want to do is to place the image of your CV here. So you can do this in two ways. If you have your CV in a PDF document, you don't really need to create another page like we've done here. You can just attach it to your PDF. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that right after I show you how to upload using an image. Okay, so just select this image over here and then click on edit. Okay, so here's where you're going to add your image. So just click on add, click on upload. So if you have your CV in an a image format, you're going to upload it here from your computer. Okay, otherwise I'm just going to use this one of mine. Uh, not really mine, I just got it from the internet. Okay, so you're going to have your CV like this. Now this is on an image format. Okay, and then once you're done, just click on save draft. Alright, once you're done, you're going to click on pages again. Okay, and then click on uh, resume, click on the dots, and then click on copy slug. This is going to give you the link to this page. So now you can come back home, click on your button over here, and then you're going to paste your slug over here. So this is basically the link to your resume page. Okay. Now once you're done, just click on save draft. Okay. Now click on publish. Click on publish live page. Now to look at your website, just click on publish again. Okay. Open this in a new tab. And there you go. You have your website. Just make sure everything is there, all your images, all your text. Okay. So far it's looking good. Now, if they click on this, it's supposed to take them, but I've remembered I've not really published. We didn't we didn't publish their resume page. Okay, if you click on this, it's going to tell you that it's not published. So we're going to come back here. Okay, let's go uh, to our resume page. Right, click on publish and publish live page. Now we can come back here, click on refresh, and there you go. You have your resume. You can get rid of this section. As you can see, it's leaving such a big space. You don't really have to have this. You can just come back over here and remove this section. So you don't really even have to say resume. Okay, so we just save draft. Click on publish. Okay, update live page. Always do that. And then now you can come back over here, refresh. And there you go. It's looking much better. All right, if you want to go back home, just click on this. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can use a PDF to attach to your website. Okay, the PDF is going to be your uh, your CV, your existing CV. So what you're going to do, you're going to upload it to your Google Drive. Okay, so just open a page here, then open this apps over here for Google Apps. Click on Drive, then click on New, then click on File Upload, and then here is where you're going to upload your CV. Okay, I'm going to use this one as an example. As you can see, it's now uploading over here. Once it's done, you can open it. And then you're going to click on these dots over here. Click on these three dots. Click on share. And then you're going to click on restricted over here. And then click on anyone with the link. So this is going to allow anyone with the link to view your CV. So you just click on copy link. Click on done. Now you can come back over here to your website. Uh, go back home. Okay. And then you're going to click on your link over here. All right. Click on this globe. Actually, I'm going to remove this first. Okay. Make sure it's not uh, it's not showing anything. And then click on globe and then paste your link from Google Drive. Okay, now you're going to click on save draft, click on publish, um, update live page. So now if we come back home, okay, let's refresh this. Okay, refresh it about two to three times. Sometimes it takes a while before it updates, or just give it a few seconds before you refresh. And then now they're going to scroll down here. As you can see, before we click, if you hover, you can see down there it says drive.google.com. That means it's already linked to your CV. Okay, so you can click on that. And as you can see, it takes you to the PDF format. All right. And this is how you can easily do it just using Google Drive if you already have your CV on a PDF format. Now, if you want to remove this buy button, you're going to have to go for the pay version. Okay, because this will be here. This is kind of like their watermark. Okay, so if you're using the free version, unfortunately, you're going to have this buy button. And if they click on this buy button, it takes them to the pricing. Okay, so 
if you really want to remove that buy button you're going to have to go for the basic plan which is actually cheap it's very affordable this is just 12 dollars a month so if you're really serious with your uh you know with your cv website or your resume website you should be looking at the basic plan okay with this you even get to get a limited pages you're going to get a custom domain which is also something that's very important this is something i forgot to mention because if you don't have a custom domain as you can see if you go back this is going to be the link to your website okay this is not friendly for search engines for google for bing firefox it's not uh, such friendly at all this is not going to be easily found on the internet even when your employers are looking for it maybe when you're googling your name it wouldn't be easy for them to come across this and even if they come across this it won't look really professional okay so you really want to have a domain that's on your name okay like the way i have my website here as you can see this is robertokello.com so you want to have something very similar all right so that is it that's going to do it for this video this is how you can easily create a cv or a resume website using ai website builders again you can see other ai website builders here from our website you can use different formats many of them come with different formats so just check them all out otherwise that's going to do it for this video thanks for watching see you guys on the next one